Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Erica. I make videos all about handbags, lifestyle, beauty, and decor. I would love to have you as part of this community. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and come visit with me twice a week. That being said though guys, let's get into the video. All right, everybody, I am really excited to make this video. I'm excited to make every video, who are we kidding? But I'm very excited for this one for a multitude of reasons. I have gotten a lot of questions about my makeup, my hair, my skincare. I have not made it a secret on this channel that I have battled eczema for about four years in my adult life. I have eczema on my eyelids, my chin, my neck, and I get it on my hands. And I have had quite the journey in trying to figure out what products work and what products do not work for me. And I'm still Still figuring that out I experiment all the time but I thought a really good cornerstone to all of this would be to share the contents of my beauty bag and then also tell you my top favorite 10 products at the time and that includes makeup skin and hair but I think let's start with my beauty bag I am really in love with it I think it has kept me supremely organized but let's 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 talk more show right so this is my beauty bag right now this is by the brand mate in I actually did a product review for a work bag for them which I will leave in the description box down below if you'd like to check that out but they were kind enough to also send me a beauty bag now coincidentally I have a ton of bags I love handbags. I created an entire channel starting with the basis of handbags. It has grown obviously into sharing a lot of the things I love, but ironically enough, I don't have a lot of beauty bags. I bought one for myself about a year and a half ago. It was from Victoria's Secret. I got it on a $4 like clearance sale. And unfortunately that broke and like a sweet serendipitous moment I needed a new makeup bag so when they asked me if they could send me one for a review I said absolutely I definitely need one now I would have loved to have gone traveling with this bag to also tell you how it travels unfortunately that was not the case that will come in a later video I'm sure I have a trip coming up like a bachelorette party so I will definitely do a follow-up there but I just wanted to go over the general product details with you and then I will show you what all I keep inside but I think this bag is extremely budget friendly first and foremost. This bag retails for just under $23. This bag is a beautiful, very pink color. I feel like this lighting is not doing it a ton of justice. It's like kind of shiny and metallic-y, but not like a whoa shiny metallic-y. I know not everybody's for the like crazy colors. I am, I wouldn't have minded it, but I really do love this color. It's just this really fun pink. You see this mate and emblem right at the front and you have this snap compartment uh, pocket right at the front, which is actually really deep, you guys. There is nothing on the back, no compartments. It has a dual handle top, and at the top it also has this like button feature. So if you don't want those handles kind of like waving around, you can button them closed. I feel like that would be especially nice for traveling. Now, prior to getting on the inside, let me go ahead and give you just the general like dimensions. So this is 14 and a half inches wide. It is nine inches tall and it has a depth of five inches. And it has a dual metal zipper on the outside. So you have two zippers like so, and it's pretty fluid. You can hear that little ASMR for you. So it's very fluid and it goes right in. But in order for me to show the inside of the bag, guys, I have to stand up because it's that big. So hold, please, and let's get a different angle going. Okay, guys, so now for the inside of this bag. Okay, do you see? Like, I have to stand. I have to stand. That's how tall it is. It's fantastic. So I feel like let's start with one feature that I have never had in a beauty bag that I am absolutely loving which is like this 360 rotational hook that you can hang on the back of your door which I've done which is I'll get into the pros later but it starts with this 3d rotational hook we have this first compartment it has this zipper compartment which is the entire encompassing like area of this bag and it has areas for your makeup brushes with this like clear shield to keep them from any damage and then it also has an additional spot for makeup brushes and the like with these elastic bands holding them in place compartment two are i use them essentially for like bottles of like lotion i love these elastic bands right here that hold them in place there's more here and then you have this uh lower half like plastic compartment that is completely water resistant 
Then you have another plastic area with this elastic band strap that holds things in place. There is a really good diagram on the site. You can find this on Amazon that they actually go into the dimensions of each like section and then how they've packed it. I will link that or I'll post that somewhere on the screen for you to see. Something I think that this would be great for would be like little wash towels or a whole towel, honestly, and then that could keep it in place. And then also you have the dual zipper that has this, again, this water resistant material. And then lastly, you have this sort of plastic area where it's a zip entry and you can put things in there that once again are water resistant. So you have this very large beauty bag that you can keep quite a bit of stuff in. Now I talked a lot about the inside pockets being water resistant. Something I think I should mention before I get into the pros and the cons in terms of just general product details. This is a faux leather material and it too is water resistant. So if anything would spill on your suitcase or maybe spill on your vanity if that's where you keep it, it is not damaging the products inside, which I really love. And also something that I adore about Maintain products and I think everybody should know is not only they're very budget friendly, which I think is fantastic, but they are lifetime warrantied. You need only register your product. They're all through Amazon. And if something were to happen to this, all you have to do is contact Maintain and they will send you another one, no questions asked. So I think for something that is less than $23 retail, the fact that it is held up by a lifetime warranty and if something happens to it, they will only send you a new one with no questions asked. I think that is phenomenal, especially for this price point. I have spent far more on other bags and other products that don't have the same guarantee. So I definitely think that it is noteworthy. But let's really quickly get into the pros and the cons, aka suggestions about this bag. My first pro, and I think pretty apparent of this bag, is that I love the compartment space in this bag. I love how it keeps you very organized. There's a spot literally for everything. They have really thought through all of the pockets. Everything about this bag has been thought through and there is a space quite literally for everything. The next thing I love about this bag, guys, is that it holds a ton, but it never really looks very bulky, and I think that'll be best off shown when I have it very full, so you guys can kind of see that, but it really, I have so many products that I hold in here that it does not feel very heavy, it doesn't look bulky, and I think that would be a really great feature when traveling to stick in a suitcase. I feel like I could put this in maybe a smaller suitcase, I don't have to you know, really think about putting it in a bigger one, and I could carry a whole ton of stuff without feeling like this got over bulky or just in the way. The next thing guys, I'm here for this color. I love it. I would have absolutely picked this color any day of the week. I love pink. It's one of my all time favorite colors. I used to hate pink, go figure, but I love it now. And I love that it's a little bit shiny. It's a little metallic. You kind of see the sunlight getting it. I think it's just something very different. I love black bags. I love that minimal look, but there is something about just fun just cool colors and I loved this beauty bag for that reason. I thought the color was so fun. I sort of touched on it, but I want to touch on it again. I loved the 3D rotational hanger hook on this bag. Truth be told, I've never had a beauty bag with a 3D rotational hook. I know they're not a new concept. However, I loved it. I actually have been taking this bag and I will hang it on the back of my door when I'm doing my makeup or I'm using my skincare products. So it's sort of out of the way of my vanity and it's just hanging from the door. I have full on access to everything I need right, I can't snap with my left hand, but I have full on access to it and it is just so perfect because I see everything at once, it's all very visible and yet simultaneously it's completely out of the way, which I think is fantastic. And again, I know that this is not the first beauty bag to have ever implemented that design, but it's the first for me because I have never owned anything like that. Speaking of leaving space on my vanity, something I have loved so much is that this packs away pretty much everything I need and it is just sits very nicely and delicately on the side of my vanity. I'll put some before and after pictures in. Do not judge me, don't judge. Uh, but my vanity tends to have stuff spilled out everywhere. So it, with this, I was able to kind of neatly pack it all together. I have super, super easy access with that rotational hook. I just hang it on the, the thing when I need to use it. 
but in the meantime it has taken a basically tornadoed vanity and it has cleaned it up and I carry everything I need in here and it just sits very delicately to the side and my fiance is not yelling at me for the mess I have created with the millions of products that I have so definitely a pro. And lastly, I already touched on this, but I definitely feel like it needs to be touched on once more. Something I love dearly about Maintain products is number one, they're very budget friendly. I've mentioned that, that this bag is less than $23 retail price, but the fact that it has that lifetime warranty, I think is just fantastic. Again, I have spent a heck of a lot more on certain things and it does not come with that lifetime guarantee. It does not come with that caveat of no questions asked, we'll just replace it if something happens to it. And the fact that this has that I think is just really awesome and worth it for that reason. I have talked extensively with the mates and customer service and I think they're fantastic. Uh, they turn around very quickly in terms of any questions that you have and all of the products are located on Amazon which means one to two day shipping and you get it right away. I am not a patient person and not all companies offer shipping quite like Amazon. So being the fact that I am an instant gratification kind of person, I love that I don't have to wait very long for all of these items to come in stock. So definitely, definitely a pro. Lastly though, guys, there's, there's cons. Well, there's really only one like con, aka suggestion. I think it's very personal and I will open it to show you exactly what I'm talking about. This section, okay guys, this is probably fantastic for some of you who love makeup. I like makeup, but I don't love it and I don't wear a lot of it, okay? I have a very minimal makeup routine and I don't use a ton of brushes. Every once in a while, if I'm going to a very special event, I will do it all up, but I tend to keep those in a different like section. Like I keep them in like a container in my closet. That's how little I use like makeup brushes and things like that. So for me, this section is just not utilized very much. I would have loved to have another section like this up at the top because I have just more skin stuff I would have put in it. Now, it does have this zipper compartment up at the top and I suppose I could utilize that, but for me, this is just an unutilized section. So that is my con with it. I don't, I don't necessarily love that aspect, but I know for so many of you, this would be a very, very nice uh, feature because a lot of people do love makeup. I am just, I am not in that camp. I appreciate makeup. I appreciate makeup artists. They do that. They're just that. They're artists. I, I lack the art. I lack the finesse. So anyway, those are the details of my makeup bag, guys. But what you're here for? Let's get inside it. Let's like take a look. Let's let's dissect. Hold, please. Okay, guys. We will start just with like a general overview of like all that I carry in this bag. Now I will sit down and we'll go through. We'll, we'll dissect. So at the top, where the makeup brushes usually are, I keep feminine products. We need not go into the much detail on that. I keep nothing in this section. So let's get into the second section, likely my all-time favorite section. So looking at it in these bands, I have my Epion's Medical Barrier Cream, Steroid 1, Steroid 2. I have my La Roche Posay Double Moisturizer. I have my Coco Formula uh, Vitamin E Bust Cream. I have a Botanical Sunscreen 70 SPF uh, Mineral Non Greasy uh, Sunscreen. In this little zipper compartment, I have a mini Vaseline and I have my little facial razor. The next compartment, we will just open this so things don't fall out. I keep mostly like makeup and things in. As you can see, the previous was all my skincare stuff. I do have one sort of skincare product that just doesn't seem to fit in any other compartment, and that is my Lancome, um, it's like a Regenery uh, Lift Multi Action Ultra SPF Cream. I have a Glossier highlighter stick. I have another Glossier product, this is called Boy Brow. This is the current like foundation, if you will, that I'm using. It is a CC cream by It Cosmetics. As you can tell, I have had it for quite a little while. Even the label is wearing off. I have a CoverGirl Colossal Mascara. I have my current red lipstick that I have on. It's a MAC lipstick in the color uh, Dubonnet. It's number 108. I have the Lancome Skin Feels Good Tinted SPF. And another glossy product. This is the Cloud Paints 
like it's like a creamy like blush that's it see this is all little i know about makeup in the color puff and that's it for that one and in this pouch guys more skincare stuff i have an array of different masks i love sheet care mask or sheet sheet masks so i have a ton of those and then I have this Mighty Patch for acne. So that, that is all I carry. Oh, the front compartment. Forgot about that. The front compartment, guys, has hair baubles. I use these a lot. But now, now, let's get into my top 10 favorite products to date. In, in no particular order, we will start off. Now, two of the products, guys, I don't have in here right now. Just for ease of use, they're nicer, just left out. However... Should I be traveling, they'd be in here because I use them on a daily basis. So again, in no particular order, let's start off. Okay, so my favorite product right now, and this is a skincare product, is my La Roche-Posay Double Face Double Repair Moisturizer. Let's see if you can get a close up. Yes. So <clears throat> I love this stuff. I took a chance on it back in January. I had seen a couple TikToks. A lot of dermatologists talked about this product and I have used like the Cetaphil and the CeraVe and a lot of dermatologists recommend that. Mine not being an exception to the rule. However, I found that those products burned my skin for whatever reason. I know that's not the case for many. A lot of people love it with sensitive skin. I'm not saying don't use them. I actually have started to use CeraVe again and I am finding that I like it, but this product particularly has just been amazing. I loved it. This is the second bottle I've purchased. I find that you don't need a lot of it. You can find it at pretty much any drugstore, a Walgreens, a Walmart. I get mine at Target. So I love the accessibility of these products. I love that they're just kind of there. They're not the cheapest drugstore product, although they're not the most expensive either. I think this bottle runs you about 20 bucks, but I feel like it does stretch for a while and I feel like it has kept my skin very moisturized. I don't find that I have a ton of flaking and I also feel like it has kept the flares at a very, very minimal. So I use this sometimes three or four times a day because I'm always, always moisturizing. I actually need to get another one. I was carrying this in my purse. This is the purse version because I ran out of the vanity one. So this is the one I was carrying in my purse. I now carry it in or keep it in my makeup bag. So. I definitely love the La Roche-Posay products. So, speaking of which, the next favorite is the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. Let's see if it will do. There we go. So it's kind of a pump bottle. I use this once or twice a day, and this is for normal to dry skin. Again, I have very dry skin, and I feel like this is a very gentle cleanser, and I just love the way it feels on my skin. I feel like it's light, it never burns, although my skin always feels very clean when it's done, and I just don't feel like it leaves my skin feeling very dry. I have used some cleansers where I take it off and all of a sudden my skin feels so dry, like I need to get moisture on it right away. Not this one. I feel like it's very hydrating and it's extremely cleansing and I I have bought this twice this is the second bottle I've had and I just really really love it again I also like the accessibility of the La Roche-Posay cleanser you can find this at Target you can get it online wherever you want uh, it has the, you have it on Amazon but again I just think they're great products uh, again are they the cheapest no but are they far from the most expensive yes so I love these products for sure. And next favorite product and something I've also bought twice is my Lancome uh, Multi-Action Ultra Lift Sunscreen. I use this under my makeup every day. I'm always putting it on. It is part of my daily routine. I love that it is a multi-action formula and it's like a lifting formula. I know I'm only 30, but I have been so focused on keeping my skin looking as young as possible for as long as possible. So I definitely sometimes tend to like gravitate towards like the anti-aging products and I just really like this sunscreen. I think whatever sunscreen you use, it does not have to be Lancome. Make sure it is a facial sunscreen and make sure you're putting it on. Uh, it's so important for your skin to have that sunscreen. Uh, even when you're driving in your car, even when the sun is not even out, it is important to have sunscreen. I use sunscreen all year round. In the winter, I use it in the summer, the spring, the fall. Your, your skin is always exposed and this has been something that I have loved. This is again the second purchase and I always feel like with different products guys, if you're not sure that you'll like it, 
try it in a travel size. Prior to purchasing this full size one, I purchased it in an $18 small one to see if I really liked it. I loved it. This stuff does stretch quite a ways, so this little bottle will probably get me about four or five months of use. So is it kind of expensive? This one is, yes, expensive. However, I feel like it does stretch and it does go a long way and I just really love it. My skin has yet to burn. I feel like this is, sunscreen is such a huge part of the anti-aging process. You need to wear it all the time. I love this one, but whatever one you choose, it doesn't have to be this one. Just make sure you're wearing it. Okay guys, my next favorite product on the list, also related to skin, is this Mighty Patch. I get these at Target. I have seen them, them on Amazon, actually a full size one. I always, that Target only carries them in this size. If they carry them in the larger size, I've not seen them. I love these little buggers. So what a Mighty Patch does is you can actually set it on a zit on your face or wherever. I've used it on my back before too where the, now here's the caveat, the pimple has to be at its head. If it's not at its head, I feel like it doesn't work, but if it's like a white head or it's like coming, just put this on and leave it on for about eight hours. What's nice is that they actually make like an invisible one, so you can actually, I've like worn them to work and people don't even see it, but you just put it on and you let it sit there and it like sucks up like a vacuum. It just like sucks up all the nasty crap in that zit and you peel that sucker off and it is flat, the zit is gone, and I have never ever experienced like one of those spot like treatments as effective as this. But again, the zit has to be at its head, and I just I love these things. Like I just I love the fact that they also create the invisible ones, so you don't see them, and you can wear them to work, and people aren't like, what the heck is on your face? They don't see it. It's great. I absolutely love these, and I have purchased them multiple, multiple times. Actually, I'm almost done with this, so I have to get it again. One of my next favorite products, guys, and it just, it's not a specific one. I love face masks. I use these probably three or four times a week. I generally get mine at TJ Maxx. I have gotten them on Amazon. You can buy them in bulk there, but I love these things. I love to go out of the shower and I love to put one on. I just feel like my skin just drinks in the moisture and it just looks glowy, phenomenal. It feels good and I, I've i been a consistent user of face masks for about two or three years and I just really love them and I just think they give your skin something a little extra and again you can find these fairly cheap at Walmart, at Target, TJ Maxx and Marshalls again is where I generally get mine but I do definitely feel like they've done something a little extra for my skin. So my next favorite product again, a skincare product, is this Epience Medical Barrier Cream. Kathleen, if you are watching, it has made my top 10. My One of my dear subscribers, I love her, actually suggested this Epience Barrier Cream because I was using Aquaphor on my face. Now, I love Aquaphor, and I think it's great for those flare-ups on your hands and things like that, but she made a point of saying that it could actually congest the skin on your face, and it's funny that she had mentioned it because I was seeing spots where I would put the Aquaphor. She said, try Epience Medical Barrier Cream. So that is what I've Purchased. I got it off of Amazon. I think it was like $24 or $25, which is kind of a lot because it is a little bottle, but a lot go or little goes a long way. And I deal with flare ups on my skin sometimes. I feel like they have become less, but they do happen. I would generally gravitate towards an aquaphor. However, this has kind of taken the place of aquaphor for at least on my face. And it is a very like gentle, it does not ever feel like it burns, and it definitely like helps the flare-ups quite a bit and I've actually read in some of the reviews that some people say that this is their anti-aging secret. I don't necessarily do it for that reason but especially when my skin is feeling super sensitive, super dry and it just feels like everything burns between the La Roche-Posay double moisturizer and this I feel like my skin definitely tends to calm down quite a bit and this has never once burned when I put it on and I just have really come to love this product. Next guys. Moving out of skincare, let's get into hair care. So something that I have actually mentioned in a favorites video is my Batiste Dry Shampoo. I really love this stuff. I love it for the price. I actually got this one at Marshalls for $9 for the full size bottle. I don't really know what a full size bottle would run, probably $10 or $11 at Target, but I always seem to see these at Tar or TJ Maxx and Marshalls. They always have a ton of them, at least in my local area, but if you can't find it there, I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. I know they have it at Target and I know they have it at, I think at Walmart. But I love this dry shampoo. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little secret with dry shampoo that most people don't know. I learned this from my stylist 
years ago. The secret to dry shampoo is to not put it on dirty hair, it is to put it on clean hair and that helps the hair stay clean for longer periods of time. Now obviously you can put it in as you go, but if you really want to target the hair at its best time, put it on your clean hair and it will help to keep the hair clean for much longer. So there's, there's my little tip for you, there's my little secret. But I actually used to use the Aveda dry shampoo and that was in a powder. I love the Aveda dry shampoo in a powder. The problem is, is the Aveda product costs $30 for a small one. Now again, that was a little went a long way, but 30 bucks for a little bottle is a lot. Whereas I loved this, I think it does a similar job and this was extremely budget friendly at $9 so I really do love my Batiste dry shampoo. Okay next on my favorite list guys another hair care product is hair bobbles. So I have two different ones here as you can see this is like a larger hair bobble and this is a much smaller one. I really tend to gravitate towards the smaller ones. I purchased these on Amazon and I didn't realize that they would be this large. They do the job but I prefer these. I also have much thinner and shorter hair. I feel like if you have long thick hair or thick hair this might be a better bobble for you but i love these little guys because i feel like they keep all of my hair secure they never fall out of place like a normal hair tie and especially when i would wear my hair in a messy bun on the top of my head normal hair ties my hair was always slipping it was always falling these keep it in place they don't tangle they don't pull my hair out they're very comfortable and these have been my go-to ride or die hair product for a long time I, I try and wear my hair down on camera quite a bit, but I do really prefer to keep my hair back, and this is in the way I do it. I am always, always using hair bobbles. I think I have like 20 of these things floating around my house at one time. Now guys, for some makeup products. I know, I know, I just don't, I have a very minimal makeup routine. Again, I will do a whole separate video. I, I don't even think it could, I, I'll do my hair and makeup routine in one video because my, my makeup is that minimal. But one of the things I have purchased multiple times is this Glossier Boy Brow. I will actually open it for you. It looks like that. And you just take it and you kind of like fluff up your brow. It keeps your brows in place but it gives it this very full, very natural look. This is in the brown color. I do have darker eyebrows so that is why I get this one but they have multiple different colors for whatever would work for your brow best. But I have actually purchased this product like two or three times. I love the Glossier Boy Brow product. I just love that it kind of gives my eyebrows a very natural look. I have always just gravitated towards the more natural look mostly because I don't even think I could do my brows correctly if I wanted to so um, I know I think they say your brows should look like sisters not twins when I try my brows they look closer to third cousins okay like it's just not pretty it's not cute so I love this product dearly because I feel like it does give me a full brow it keeps my brows in place all day and I am just this is the look I am looking for with this very like natural brow and this is the product I used to get there I want to say this is maybe 15 or 16 dollars it's small but it goes far it goes really far so I can keep one of these for like eight months I'm not even kidding you so yes this this is how the brows look the way they do is because of the Glossier Boy Brow. Okay, my last product. A makeup product. What? Okay, it is the CoverGirl Colossal Lash Mascara. Okay, so this is the mascara I have used for a very long time. I gravitate between two mascaras, okay, and it really depends on how bougie I'm feeling. Most of the time, I do the CoverGirl Colossal Lash, and as you can see, my lashes look pretty freaking long, all thanks to just this one. And this is $5 at your local drugstore. The only other mascara I will buy for myself is the Lancome Defensals, I think it's called. That mascara, for which I love, but a sample is like $20. It's very expensive, but I do find that it's worth it. So if you're looking for a fantastic mascara and you want to spend a little bit more, I would definitely suggest a Lancome mascara. However, if you are not feeling that bougie, your budget doesn't allow it, I think this product goes a very, very long way. It gives me the same sort of look for my lashes. I am not wearing any sort of like falsies or anything like that. I love this product. I think the brush is fantastic. It's sort of, it's thick and it just gives me the perfect look and I absolutely 
love this stuff and it has been one of my OG products for a very long time. I have used the Colossal Mascara I think since I was like 19 years old. So I've only ever gone between two, again, the Lancome and this and it really just depends on my mood and what kind of money I'm looking at spending. But for the most part, this is my go-to. I love it and I think it makes a huge difference with my eyelashes. And yeah, as you can see, they're great. They're really long and it's, yeah, I, I, I have this to think. I think it's fantastic. And again, we'll just get a close up of that brush one more time. It is, it's just really thick and it's, it's great. I love it. And I love the price for $5. It's definitely, definitely a go-to, definitely a must in my beauty bag. Okay, y'all, I hope you've enjoyed this. I feel like this was a super long video and I'm very sorry for that. But I hope you enjoyed kind of getting a look up or a look into my makeup bag. And I hope that one of those products that I've shown you as a favorite helps you out. I will always say this caveat. If you have sensitive skin, run things past a doctor, especially if everything bothers you. I am not a dermatologist. I am not a medical specialist in any which way. I am not an esthetician. Uh, these are the products though that have worked for me. And maybe run them past your dermatologist. They might work for you too. But uh, those are the products I've taken a gander with. Those are the products that have worked for me. And those are the products that I've purchased multiple, multiple times and have been a staple in my beauty routine for a a very long time and again I would love to know if you decide to use one of those products I would love to know what staples are in your beauty bag please I'm always looking always looking to try different products but that being said though guys I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day I hope you have a fantastic week and I cannot wait to see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>